Alright guys, Tom here and welcome to episode 7 of my Road to Glory series. I start off this episode by putting Ajoz into my squad and then discarding the Swindon Town badge as both items didn't successfully sell. I then put Ajoz into my active squad and I had a little bit of a crisis, I always say this, but I ran out of contracts which, which was disappointing so I had to force myself to buy another bronze pack. I seem to be doing this quite a lot, but I then um, luckily got myself an English right back and O'Connor who plays for Ireland. The right back had 74 pace, but of course I only really opened this pack for the contract, so I ended up putting the uh, English player into my active squad, as usual, as he was an English player, and then sent all the remaining items to my club, and then you can see it on the screen now, I end up putting a contract card onto Hog, and then putting one onto Frampton. I then had a little off the scenes mixed around with my squad, as you can see on the screen here, nothing that affected my current squad, just on the reserves bench. I then it went into my first match of the series against this guy and he had 91 chemistry, 62 attack, 62 midfield and 63 defence. He had a pretty good chemistry as he was going with a German team as you can see here. He was playing in a 4-2-2-2. Not sure if we've been against somebody like this before with the same formation but he makes a drastic error in the first 5 minutes. Vassell takes full advantage of this and then Vassell goes and grabs himself another goal within 2 minutes after getting his first. Cuts inside and smashes it into the bottom left hand corner. What a strike in the 7th minute. My opponent then decided that he wanted a bit of an action. He loops the ball over my defence and then gets a really lucky volley past my keeper. It was a pretty good a shot to be fair. And then I went and got myself a third goal from Vassell again and switches it onto his left foot. And just sneaks it past the keeper in the 24th minute. I then go on an absolute tear. Vassell cuts inside again and then slices it past the keeper. This keeper can't do anything about that. And then the opponent wants his second goal. I make a little bit of a drastic error in the defence as I leave a huge gap. And this guy takes full advantage of this after getting a rebound from the keeper. And getting his second of the game. I then catch the ball from the corner and then Nash belts it up to Vassell free behind the opponent's defence and then Vassell gets a lucky little nick from the keeper and then gets a second chance to score and the game ended 5-2 and it was a great result for us. This is the first match of the episode. We've still got two to go and Nash gained man of the match. We got 865 coins, a win under our belt. And with that confidence, we go into the market and go and buy ourselves a right winger. And in fact, I go and buy myself a Phillips, who plays for Blackpool. And I go for 750 coins. He's got 83 pace. Pretty poor shot, but I was pretty impressed with the pace, so I decided to buy him. And um, as you can see here, I just go into my trade pile. Sometimes does that glitch, and I put him into my active squad instead of Ollie. And then I go into my current squad, and then put the rare bronze Ollie onto my current reserves, and then added a contract card to Heath. And I was short of one contract card, which I needed to add to Whitaker. So in a moment, you will see me go into the store and buy another bronze pack for 400 coins. And I thought my luck was in when I got a right midfield player for USA who played. He's in the 4-1-2-1-2 formation, although his price wasn't up to what I thought it might be. I then sent all the remaining items to my store and Zizzo to the trade pile. I also got a lot of contract cards and a healing card for the leg. And as you can see, I put him up for 150 coins and then went and put my contract card onto Whitaker. And used a spare manager item I got from that pack to put a bronze contract card onto him. So we had full chemistry and ready for the second game of the episode. And I get up against this guy who has 60 chemistry a better attack and a better midfield than me and he has Jermaine Beckford the pacey striker for England who plays for Leicester City he also has a right midfielder who is a silver rare player and a left midfielder who is a rare bronze player I start off the game really brightly with an awesome strike from Oakley and this guy was also doing a road to glory but he decided that he'd had enough and left the game in the middle of his match and well deservedly Oakley got 7.70 rating and he got the man of the match I also got 530 seven coins pretty poor for what I thought was a really good performance from me I then had one last contract to use onto my right back hunt I put that onto hunt and then decided to myself that it was time
time I needed a new goalkeeper, I decided that Nash hadn't been really performing that well in the last few games, so I decided to buy the Wigan goalie, Kirkland, for a really, really good price, actually. I decided to pick him up for a 1,000 coins, which I thought was a really good deal, and as you can see now, I decided to put him into my club. Instead of Nash, and then as this quickly speeds up, I then put Nash into my reserves and swapped this bodding guy from Wales for Nash so I could put him onto my reserves with the other English players. I went into my trade part and realised that Zizzo had gone for only 150 coins. I thought that was a pretty poor offer actually because I thought he'd go for a lot more than that. I then went into my last game of the episode and this guy had Joe Hart and Westcar, two really beast players who uh, Westcar actually goes for 14k on his own and obviously Joe Hart is a goal player and he had Alex McLeish as his manager and I was adamant that I wasn't going to be absolutely dominated and got the first goal of the game actually from a really nice diving header from Vassell. Pretty sure it was already over the line from the original chip but then I got a second goal from Vassell as I found a cheeky wide gap through his defence and then took it past his keeper and just rolled it into the back of the net. 2-0 to me, what a great start. And just before half time and before he decides to rage quit I get a goal from Phillips on his debut. He decides to bring out his keeper and I belt it into the back of the net. Three goals to me and then the guy decides to rage quit after um, a complete domination in the first half, I have to admit. And I was really surprised that I got this win as he had Wesker and Joe Hart, two outstanding players who are both English. And as you can see there, he leaves the game and I get my third win of this episode, 765 coins. So thanks for watching this episode, guys, episode 7. So thanks for watching, follow me on Twitter and goodbye.